The information in this module is accurate and complete to the best of our knowledge. All recommendations are made without guarantee on the part of the author or the sponsoring institutions. The author and the sponsoring institutions disclaim any liability in connection with the use of this information. A heuristic method is one that comes from experience, not necessarily from precise mathematical formulations, like a process of elimination or a trial and error process. This module discusses, through a simple illustration, the heuristics behind BLAST, a widely used approximate local alignment method. At the end of this module, you will be able to Understand the differences between heuristic and exact algorithms. Explain the basics of the seed and extend heuristics. And understand the main advantages and disadvantages of a heuristic algorithmic approach. It is important to remark that the actual BLAST algorithm that is constructed with these heuristics will be discussed in the next lecture. Let's consider the problem of finding the local alignment of two sequences. But this time, let's think of the sequence as a member of a database, and talk about a query sequence and a target database sequence. As before, finding a local alignment requires a scoring scheme. For simplicity, we compute first, and for comparison purposes, the exact local alignments that are obtained with the scoring scheme and the Smith-Waterman recursion. This is the dynamic programming array for the query and the target database sequences. By tracing back the sequence of applications of the recursive formula from each maximum value, we retrieve the exact local alignments of query and database target sequence. As discussed previously, the computation of the dynamic programming array followed by backtracking takes a time proportional to the product of the length of the query and the target database sequence. So, the larger the database, the longer it will take to get all the exact local alignments. With the advent of large database sequence, such as GeneBank, faster algorithmic alternatives were required. A method that is significantly faster than Smith-Waterman is the Basic Local Alignment Search Tool, or BLAST. Smith-Waterman invests a significant amount of time in finding the exact local alignments. BLAST lowers the time to the cost of accuracy. A BLAST local alignment has no guarantee of exactness. The central technique used by BLAST and other fast aligners and mappers is called indexation. Indexation is a way of finding words in a dictionary. In this context, words are k-mers. A k-mer is a sequence segment of length k. In this illustration, we will use k-mers of length 3. In the first step of BLAST, all k-mers of the database sequence are indexed, as illustrated here. This indexation is then used with the query sequence to be aligned with the database. A high-scoring segments pair, or HSSP, is an alignment without gaps between k-mers of the query and the database sequence. For the purpose of alignment, we use this scoring scheme. A score threshold is added to decide when one such alignment is an HSSP. For this illustration, we use an HSSP threshold of 1. We compute each of the scores of the ungapped alignments of KMERS of the query sequence with the indexed database. Next, we identify all ungapped scores greater than or equal to the HSSP threshold. We find just one score greater than or equal to one in position fourth of the index database sequence. We store this information for later use. We repeat the process with a second camer in the query sequence. This time, we find three HSSP in the first, eighth, and 10th position of the indexed sequence. These are the scores for the third KMER in the query sequence. 
two new HSSP are found, this time with the second and the ninth kamer in the index list. We add them to the table of HSSP. Finally, we align the fourth kamer of the query sequence with the indexed kamers. No further HSSPs are found. The heuristic principle behind BLAST is that significant local alignment should contain an HSSP. So, the values in the table are seeded to search for local alignments around them. In this case, two of the seeded HSSP, seed 1 and seed 3, overlap. Seeds are extended into gapped local alignments as far as the alignment score is greater than or equal to a predefined score threshold. An extension stops whenever the score of the alignment falls below the score threshold. The graph illustrates the variations of the alignment scores of an extension under the score threshold of 2. The extension stops as soon as the score is less than 2. For our example, we will use a score threshold of 1. We use Smith-Waterman to extend the seeds into an alignment. Here is the calculation that corresponds to seed 1. Following the previously outlined method, we plot the extension scores in a graph. The upper corner is 0. Next, we have a score of 1, which is followed with a score of 2. The next scores are 1s, so we are still over the threshold. Then, we have scores of 2, followed with 1s. Since the next score is 0, the extension ends here. This is the extension of the second seed. By repeating the method, we get this extension. Regarding the third seed, we get this extension. In the case of the fourth seed, we can see that there isn't any extension. Here is a summary of the previous extensions, which yield the following approximate local alignments. Besides the usual parameters used for local alignments, BLAST uses a prefixed word length, HSSP threshold, and an extension threshold. We have discussed the heuristic observations that lead to BLAST, a software method that returns approximate local alignments in significantly less time than the exact local alignments obtained with the Smith-Waterman algorithm. The actual data structures and computations used in BLAST will be discussed in the next lecture.